Guys who are currently watching a clip from our podcast, The Fellas, the full podcast is available exclusively on Spotify with video for free. So go ahead and follow us on Spotify. It actually helps us out more than you could imagine. But we wanted to discuss something we feel passionate about on this podcast. Yeah. Which is unidentified... Aerial phenomena. UAPs. Yeah. UFOs. Right. Yeah. Recently, there's something that came out that Chip said you were reading about all weekend. Oh, yeah, Can you enlighten weird. the I've people? Just, we'll we'll get just, some photos I've up on I've just this. unfortunately forgot the name. It's uh, the Calvin photo. Calvin. The, that's how we pronounce it, right? We're getting I'm, it right. We're going to call it the fucking Calvin. Calvin, Calvin. Calvin, Calvin, us, Calvin so, whatever. Yeah, this this classified picture it was classified for like 40 years or something, 30, wasn't it? That was yeah. actually taken in Scotland, not too far from where Cal is yeah, from. From Perth. And it is... It's been verified by like Sheffield University or something, which doesn't sound too legit. But, no, it, but yeah. I mean, you got the top donnies there, and it is something in the sky, and it looks well. Listen, when you see the photo, we've got it up on screen now. But if you're listening, it is a fucking. It's like a triangle, doubled up both sides. I don't know it's what the most kind alien of shape. What looking kind of shape? It looks yeah. straight out of a movie, you, like it's Star like, Wars. It's like a diamond flipped on its side, and it's yeah. in the sky, and it looks. It looks like some out of Star Wars. It's yeah. fucking crazy. We've and got a you've picture got the... up on screen right now yeah. if you're watching this on Spotify. Yeah. Yeah. And this if, is... if you are not watching, Google Calvin photo, you need to see it. And it's got like a jet flying below it, right? Like a military jet. Like a, like a plane of some sort. Yeah. Like a, and, and wait, like a proper... is, th is that confirmed to be like that's, our jet? That ain't that's, an alien jet. That, that's, all, that's like our jet. And yeah. it's like they always do tests in this area. So that was like okay. quite a normal thing for that to be there whether that jet knew about what was in the sky in front of it oh it must have done it was massive i want to i don't want to get this wrong here but i think when they verified the photo and said it is something in front of the camera this is not edited in post or whatever they said it was 25 meters long i want to say it's that long. have you got the That's details there? no it 25 was foot? Uh, it, they said the metallic object is about a hundred foot long. So yeah, probably could be similar. So, yeah, yeah, similar to 20, that. So that's yeah. probably twenty five meters. Is it, right? I don't know. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah. uh, but anyway, this shit was fucking crazy, man. And like wow. people have been trying to like, you know, deep on kids. Hey, it's fucking yeah, because crazy. when I first saw it, the, my initial reaction was okay, but this could this could be just like you know how you get like weird things that happen on mm. camera like in terms of like reflections because there is actually where that photo is uh, someone went and took a photo from that exact spot it was taken and there is like a little mountain or like a, a hill mountain in the distance yeah that resembles that type of shape there's quite a yeah it's quite close top. it's quite close but it's just i think the angle that the photo was taken from is impossible and right. also in the photo very faintly, you can see the mountain line at the bottom, oh, really? okay. which really kind of cancels out that theory. Yeah. And then the other main theory, which has now been canceled out as well, was the reflection one. And when that came out, everyone was like pretty on board with it. Like, yes, yeah. reflection. But then people went to the spot where the photo was taken now, 34 years later, and there is no water there. And there never was a lake there. There's no reflection. And also the top of the object, whatever the fuck it is, is is different to the bottom right and if it was a reflection it'd be the exact same yeah. also the plane would be upside down and it's not Ooh. so like mm. there was a lot of things there and you can see when you turn like the mid-tones in the photo you can see clouds below yeah the so it's like one picture you can tell it's one picture and all the crowds are different from the bottom, bottom to the top. so yeah so what 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 do you think it is? Like, what, what's know, your man. conclusion from know. this photo? I, I, like, it's just fucking wild. I feel like people more. I just don't get it because I feel like more people would have seen some of that fucking big. It's huge. Is how remote is that area? Yeah, like because no, you it's, know it's, that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you're out. You're, you're a bit out in the sticks. I think it said what was it like thirty miles away from Perth or and and, and I think where was it? Thirty five miles northwest of Perth. And yeah, so that as 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 far as you're you're not really close to the city. Like thirty five miles is a fair way. But you do have. I mean, it's not like a barren wasteland either. Like yeah. you've got people out there, so, and and, so it, and it's big. Like bro, you'll be able to see this from, from like the cities. Do you reckon hundred yeah. foot objects in the sky? Yeah, bro, you have to unless. Yeah. Is it really mountainy there? Maybe, maybe that would be a no. No, it's not like, bro. It's it's not like you're in the fucking Alps and it's sitting in a fucking mountain. I don't range. know, man. The thing is, it's like the fact that it got verified. Like even in the picture, it says top right in the corner, Sheffield University. Yeah. So the and it, I can't remember the exact story of how it's been. It's come out, but I think like 
It got someone, leaked. Someone from the Air Force kept the picture in the in yeah. their desk because the, it had been hidden. The, the the government had been hiding this photo. Yeah. For uh, how old a is this lot. photo? It's, uh, it's thirty, forty years. Uh, was it nineteen? Um, eighties. It's nineties, I believe. Yeah. And um, it's not. This picture is classified until like this yeah. twenty seventy summit. And even yeah. when it gets to 2070, it's 2070, like, probably yeah. still 2070. So they actually yeah. wanted to hide that. And that's another thing that makes it a little bit weird is like, if they were just to come out and they're like, we're not really, we don't really think this is, this is very legit. Surely they would just like not have it classified and be like, yeah, this is yeah. just, a, this is a reflection, like whatever. Well, I think that kind of stuff is like, they try and, you know, give a bit of disinformation and be like, play it down. Like, oh, it's just a reflection. Yeah. They'll, they'll help sell that in some way. Yeah. But I mean, but yeah. I think this they, is the they best. They obviously thought it was something yeah. because they kept it classified. This is definitely like one of the best pictures ever, based on like certain factors. Like okay, the so I've got approval. a thing here. Yeah. I've got a thing with a lot of these, um, a lot of these like uh, UAPs and things that we can't really make sense of. Yeah, I actually, I do, I don't want to say. I, I, okay, this is one of my theories. I'll put it that way. One of my theories is that actually all of our militaries are so much more advanced than we mm. could possibly know that this actually like that thing could be. belongs to our military or a military organization yeah on the in the uk and we've just been led to believe like this tech just doesn't exist or we're 50 years it's off not, of having it's this not tech. a bad theory that the two people that took the picture said that it shot off up into space so fast mm. so that obviously that's if you believe that yeah um but that's why I, I don't mean, know. Even I don't then, know like, if it we could still be ours. I, and I, still, just I reckon we have that crazy fucking tech, but I don't know if we have that. But you never know, man. We might. Yeah. We, yeah, but but that's 34 years ago as well. Like maybe now, if you saw it now, right, you could you, you could mean. probably be like, yeah. If I saw that sure now, that you're, right, you're right. I reckon it could possibly still be us. But yeah, for that to be, you're right. Actually, I didn't and even it think just of looks that. so fucking alien, doesn't it? It does. But, it, but that's what I mean. It's almost too like I don't think aliens or like these sort of like crafts that they've built. I don't think that they are how we, because the yeah. only way we think of them is because of movies and shit and what people have like come yeah. up in their mind. Nah, nah, but the way we think of the reason why we think of them is because of the main UFO incident. The flying saucer is yeah. a real thing. And that's why movies started making flying saucers. Yeah. Because of that Roswell UFO ah, crash. Okay. It was a flying saucer. Right. So flying saucer, and it was big. It was in newspapers. Then they mm -hmm. took it out and it became a big thing. Yeah. I mean, and so they, the thing, and like. so it, because they could sell it then. They were like, oh, that flying saucer from Roswell, we can sell this. Yeah. And they, obviously a movie comes out straight away with flying saucers. Everyone that read that or did that was going to go watch it. What's the benefit of hiding it? Just purely- Religion and stuff. The world will go too crazy, man. And, and it contradicts think, a lot of stuff. Do you think it's space race um, relevant as well? Like the reason our government may be hiding it or, you know, American government may be hiding it is because they don't want other countries to be, know that they're that progressed in like sort of space yeah. exploration. Yeah. So that, that's what that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Is that yeah. like, they just want to hide it from yeah. each other. Maybe they So no one knows how far, yeah. how advanced the American military is yeah. or how, I mean, we got to remember that America, Americans put trillions into their fucking military. The, like yeah, their joke. Deep, yeah. So, That's where all the taxes go from. Yeah, Americans. seriously. Like you're trying to tell me what trillions of dollars ain't coming up with shit that's probably at least 20, 30 years advanced. Gotta now. be, yeah. Bro, you're kidding me. No, no other industry gets that sort well, of funding bob lazar's story is that they have it already and they've been trying to reverse engineer it for like fucking 40 years yeah so maybe they find so something it. his thing is that something else came down they've just been trying to figure out how it works to create their own yeah so essentially they're just making reverse it backwards it, yeah. yeah so because wow. he said there's materials on those objects that yeah, have never been found on this planet it's like anti-gravity it's like an energy source that doesn't need the, the, the fossil fuels gravity. or everything gravity. it's like zero point energy or something like that it's fucking crazy but yeah maybe he was right maybe they fucking figured it out all along yeah i don't know you man know, it's just so I'm just, cool i'm just uh, what, it makes me a little bit sad when we had these conversations because the idea of not potentially ever knowing in yeah. our lifetime and it could end up being like that there will be a generation that gets to experience the news that we're not alone and it might not be us and that's kind of sad yeah I, I would love to see you chip like chew Bob Lazar's ear off because oh, I feel like out of anyone I've ever met, you're like the most passionate. I think about, I would like, be UFOs so. Stuff. I, I'd have to be respect. He's an older man as well, so I'd just be like a respect thing. That would be just. Yeah. I wouldn't even want to waffle know, his I ear think, off. I, yeah, I, I'd I think want to, you but would, I wouldn't want to. I think you would genuinely, if that was a podcast and it was going to happen, I think you would. 
shut yourself in a dark room for a week and just study yeah. everything. I would yeah. be coming with this guy. Mad I, he'd, he'd be turning up thinking, fuck, this kid knows everything. PDFs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've, I love the, the idea, his story. And that is my number one dream podcast guest. And I don't think we'll ever get him though. Yeah. I think I think he's, because he's like, what is he? How old is his Bob Azar? It's, like, it's got to be like 70. You've odd. watched a uh, part of some. The I watched Jordan. the whole, the yeah. whole job. So, yeah, that's he's a like, good episode. The Unreal episode. He's like, what, 60, 70? He's 63. And the reason why I don't think we get him is because when he was on the Joe Rogan podcast, he just kept get, saying he had migraines. He's like, yeah. hates flying and shit. And like, he's got migraines. Yeah. A, a lot of people use that to kind of like, debunk him a bit and be like really? yeah every time he got put on the spot for a question he doesn't he did say he, he, had would, like, oh, he would sorry, have migraine. Man, got a migraine yeah. yeah and he kept saying he kept doing it a lot of people i've read a lot of stuff about people not necessarily believing him and th there is like some credible stuff out there which kind of doesn't look i know different. who we can get on this podcast who? his his man jeremy jeremy corbell oh the guy that was sat next huge to him? in the ufo thing and he's he yeah. would he would love to come on he would be really? obviously it's not Bob Azar, but he's got a lot and he does a lot for the UFO community, so it'd be good. Mm. And he knows oh, everything that Bob Lazar knows because he's yeah, his yeah. guy. So didn't you like help him write the like, a book or what? What, what did, sure, what did they did a documentary with? together? Oh, the that documentary was Netflix, that was it. Yeah. And yeah, that'll be good. Jeremy, if you're watching this, we'll take you on. We need. We haven't had a conspiracy theorist. We haven't had a UFO yeah. guy. We haven't had. We haven't had anyone like from the military or someone who works in the government. Yeah, we've, we've got a lot that. of categories to fucking to lock off. off. Cause right now we TikTok merchants and YouTube merchants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It oh, would just be YouTube and TikTokers. It's the only thing with like conspiracy theorists that you've got to be careful of. Cause obviously there are some great ones yeah. out there, but there's a lot of them have like baggage as well. Yeah. A lot they of them like are deep. Lot some of, of them get deep yeah. platformed as well. Was it David, what's his name? David Ike. Alex yeah. Jones. Alex Jones, David Ike. David Ike said some really like dodgy, like, anti-semitic like anti stuff yeah. in the past really? so like it's just with with the, like a big th a, a thinker like that there also comes a lot of shit yeah they yeah, say a lot true. of bullshit um steve dr stephen gray would be a good one to get on as well he's got a lot of documentaries on netflix he's quite a, a well, renowned well one. respected person is he um yeah it's like yeah it's a bit and a bit a bit of both yeah 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 one of them as with the, all these conspiracies, we, we were saying we, we, we'd love to get like a flat earth guy on here, but we realized that it's a lose-lose situation because nah, man, they'll do smoke it. us. They'll smoke us. Let them smoke us, but I would actually love a flat earther. Really? I know we'll lose because we're not clued up on it. We And they yeah. probably... Well, they're used to all the questions well, and all the things that we say to them. They have an answer that's for why everything. I would we would lose an argument for flat earther because if you're a flat earther... You've become like that by studying it a lot. Yeah. We don't study why the earth yeah, is round yeah. or this and that. He's going to come with every bit of knowledge and information. There's just, no, there's just always a reason for everything. Like, why is it when I get, go in a plane and I look in the distance and it curves off to the edge, they go, oh, well, yeah. this who's is why. The, who's the world's like, most renowned flat earther? Do you remember Logan Paul did that uh, mockumentary about the flat earth guy? Did nah, you ever watch that? Oh, I, it's unreal. It's so good. And I thought that might be the guy you're like one of the well, most well known, but he went to like a flat earth convention and he just took the piss, man. It was so good. It was wow. seriously, I think it's one of his best things that Logan's ever done, honestly. Oh, wow. Yeah. I actually want to watch that. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, yeah, definitely get a flat earther on. Yeah, let us know if there are yeah. any people that you guys think would be perfect for the fellas Reddit, podcast. Reddit, it. Drop Obviously. it on Reddit because we're always on there and we actually read everything. So we're always there could be comments. some nutters in Oz, you know. That we could, yeah. If to. there's like a, a interesting, well, I mean, we Australia. already had um specs on saying it don't even exist, so yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's our biggest conspiracy we got, theory, we, we right? We gotta there. fly specs out there, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to sure. see specs one down. episode with specs bro, out there. Bro, oh, he would do, he would would do it as well if we flew him out, yeah. <laughs> He'd love that, bro. Would be like, nah, this is chilly, man. 